Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars and I'm here to talk just a little today about an instance of soul wounding and how that might, hypothetical instance, and how that might play out in the world um, uh, in a particular situation where that soul wounding encounters other soul wounding, say from a guru. And so what I'm hoping the takeaway might be is uh, a further understanding of the workings of karma in the world and of mal-speak and of the soul clearing that's taking place right now and uh, how we can recognize karmic traps and avoid them so that the soul clearing may happen more quickly. So <clears throat> it goes like this. Suppose there were a case where a very young child uh, was just learning about um, uh, sexuality and the ability to have an orgasm and this this young person had a younger sister sister who used to follow him around all the time by way of hero worship and so this young person and this is something we may have talked about before um, say was getting the feeling he wanted to try out his new skill um, and by by himself right but his younger sister followed him along out into a field. His, his feeling was very strong and he was just a very young young boy at the time and, and he wanted to be alone and he became upset because she wouldn't leave him. So he threw a rock at her and by mistake he killed her. And then he tried to revive her but he found out that she was, she was, she had passed on. So, so he, his father found out and his father was a person who, who was, had trouble containing his anger and in a fit of anger over what his young son had done, his son was distraught already, very upset about it, but the father never noticed what the child was feeling and he took a knife and cut the child's penis off. Well here we have a case of, of extreme soul wounding at a very young age very extreme uh, and the sole lesson the um, mouth speak that happened would be something like if I feel sexual then I will kill a woman if I feel sexual then I am in danger of being mutilated physically mutilated As, therefore it would be uh, whenever I feel sexual, I must repress that feeling, okay? Now suppose in this state of extreme, a soul exhaustion and upset and repression of, of our vital drives, this young person eventually encountered a group that had these kinds of um, samskaras. Um, one might be the tendency of the people there to repeat the, um, the mal-speak Oh God, I want your money. Oh God, I want your money. And so this and let's say that this this organization also had the notion that expression of sexuality is is sinful and deleterious to the development of the soul. All right. So this young person would feel that they fit in because they themselves would have repressed sexual energy. So the two samskaras, the guru samskara, oh God, I want your money, and the child samskaras, after a time, would blend. This might give rise to a feeling of, of heart attack whenever this young person was in relationship with other pe people. A feeling of uh, of imminent death whenever this person had a, a sexual feeling. Then um, let's say that the responsibilities of this young person with regard to the group might include developing relationships with people so as to obtain donations from them <clears throat> for the group. When this person developed relationships with other people let's say he felt a kind of a heart attack feeling as if his heart were being injured um, um, because of his prior association of relationships with 
uh, mutilation and so forth. And so uh, this heart attack feeling can give rise to a repressed, strong, negative emotion that causes heart attack in other people. If these, if these potential donors were to pass on, then, then the young person would be fulfilling the desire of this group. Oh God, I want your money, you know, now speak. If, if they had signed up as, as donors, should they pass on? So in this instance, one might expect many deaths of potential donors who had written into their will um, a bequest or donation to this, to this group. In addition, one might find that this young person would feel towards like to feel towards the exposure of uh, of say his sexual organ in public he should feel that that was the greatest of black magic because of the thing that happened to him in his youth um, he might feel that by exposing himself in public someone else might have a heart attack because he had a heart attack you see when that happened when his father cut his penis off when he was a child which is later reconstructed let us say now let's posit that in that same group there might be another person with a similar depth of soul wounding and this person grew up in a family that was very strictly against any kind of sexual display such as some of the Christian faiths are very against say dancing and and wearing you know revealing clothes and all kinds of things and in general feel that sexuality is sinful and like a work of the devil there are there are groups out there that are like that and let's say this young person grew up in such a very restrictive environment and then at the age of puberty re rebelled against the whole thing and ran away from home and took up with um, a man, a man, a man, say, picked him up on the road. And this man offered like s safety and security and uh, a chance to stay alive, food and so forth. And but asked and demand sexual um, favors and, sex and, and provided sexual abuse. <clears throat> Let's say that the young person in this first uh, ever romantic relationship became completely head over heels infatuated with that person and um, <clears throat> then when that person grew tired of them they thought to offer them the supreme um, the supreme gesture of, of cutting off their own sexual organ in order to please that other person and let's suppose that that did not work Okay, that did not ingratiate them with that person again. That person just bowled them over and let them go. And these two people who had both been uh, subject to extremely difficult, um, so wounding situations in youth met in this group or organization. Another thing that, that we might anticipate from their association in this group would have to do with that, that shared uh, early uh, soul wounding to do with genital mutilation. Uh, for instance, they might think nothing of performing an experiment with people considered by the general public to be um, dispensable and unneeded and unwanted, to perform an experiment on them by cutting off their sexual organs as well and converting them <clears throat> through transgender um, cosmetic surgery to a notion of being um, women which might be idealized by these two people and others in that group as uh, kindly loving men okay so in a lack of understanding of the basic physiology concerned and of the importance of orgasm in, in creating <laughs> Um, physical and mental health, they might arrange to have performed operations in which um, men of violent uh, propensities would no longer be capable 
of having orgasms. So that when these men who had been experimented on and who now looked like women uh, felt sexual, they would, um, with kind of a crossed wires feeling, turn their, the rage of their body cells which had been mutilated into the act of killing other people. They might, for instance, uh, assist in killing people who were potential donors for that, in, for, that, for that group. Or other people they had been hired out to kill by that group. What we have here is, is, um, is a very densely um, uh, wounded uh, clearing that's taking place. Um, not only of these, these people uh, who, who were initially wounded, but also of the people in this, on the second tier whom they wound uh, because of their own soul wounding. So there's a first and a second tier here. There's also a first and second tier in terms of um, in terms of karmic uh, play out in the duality play. For instance, uh, these two people themselves, or you know, the whole group, might have associated soul wounding, and interspersed amongst them might be the same mouth speak because in associating with groups we catch each other's malware and mouth speak as if it, it were an infection like the flu. So, so they might share a number of malware uh, and mouth speak um, programs and act in unison without actually knowing in an unconscious way act in unison to express their soul wounding which fortunately is now clearing. Um, one thing that they might express has to do with rage uh, held into the sexual organs because of those initial acts of, of, of damage to the physical cells. So when they actually uh, express themselves sexually with other people, uh, though they might never participate in an act of violence, and I've seen this any number of times in any number of situations, through sharing of the malware and the mouthspeak that they have to do with rage over, uh, over that area of the body, they um, infect the second tier of people with that emotion. And that second tier who is, say, less in control of their actions, uh, goes out and acts out the fantasies of the first tier uh, by way of killing women, for instance, or children, or mutilating people. My feeling is that when engaged in sexual activities, people ought to seek out others of the same or similar uh, astral matter density. And, and what that will result in is less acting out during this time of great change. Um, also, the understanding that the body is the sacred temple of grace, of God, will help us uh, to, to avoid storing negative emotions in the body. All of the body is good and great, I feel, and understanding that allows us to dispense with this type of malware and mouth speak that holds in rage and fear and so forth in the body.